Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are bringing you another Forza Thun guide. Now I know we're all probably stuck at home uh, so I'm going to try and bring a little bit of cheer to you guys today and help you out with this week's Forza Thun called Fond Memories which was like the third or fourth Forza Thun when Forza Horizon 4 was released and it wants you to use a retro rally car to complete all of its challenges. Uh, now I'm assuming there will be a lot of people doing this week's Forza Thun as we're all self isolating so let's get stuck in. Now obviously there is a lot of cars to pick from in the retro rally um, category but I had to go for a personal favourite on this one which is the Escort RS Cosworth. Uh, everyone knows about the Cozies um, and it, it just had to be done. Now of course I have got a tune for you guys to use, it's called Epic Escort. Uh, this is one that I literally did make a long time ago there. Now the first challenge wants you to earn three airborne pass skills. Uh, now an airborne pass skill is pretty self explanatory, it's just an overtake pass skill uh, whilst you're getting air at the same time basically. Um, so to do this, you want to go down to the Gardens Cross Country Circuit. It is the easiest, probably the easiest place to get it, um, as there's quite a few jumps on here. Now, like I said, you want to sort of line yourself up uh, with the other cars, sort of go towards the back of the pack, change it to an easier difficulty if you have to. Uh, and as you're sort of coming near a jump, you speed up to overtake the car. Uh, as you can see here, sort of cut the corner a bit overtake him as I'm taking the jump. Uh, chances are if you get a couple of seconds in between the air skill and the overtake skill it will still count as well. But like I said if you want to make life easier you can always change the difficulty to an easier one. Um, but what I did is I sort of hung back at the sort of back of the pack um, and then sort of you pounce just before you hit the jumps. It is fairly easy and luckily all you need is three of them there. Uh, so a nice easy challenge there. Now the next challenge here wants you to earn five lucky escape skills. Now this is actually a really really easy one. Uh, so a lucky escape skill is just a drift and a near miss at the same time as you can see here. Uh, now all you have to do is against an AI car, drift near them get a bit of a near miss skill going uh, and then you'll get the lucky escape skill pop up. It's actually really easy uh, and if you're in sort of solo mode, so you're not online where there's more AI as you can see here, um, you'll probably get it done a lot easier. So it's actually quite a nice and easy challenge there. Nothing too difficult uh, and the escort's pretty good enough to maintain a decent enough drift to get the challenge to pop up. So nice easy second challenge there. Now the third and final challenge here uh, just wants you to get three stars on the Derwent Water Speed Zone. Uh, now this of course will be done in winter uh, so it's essential that whatever rally car you're using has four wheel drive. Now all you need to get three stars on here is 95 mile an hour uh, and it's actually quite an easy one especially with this Escort to be honest I didn't ever have any problems I did this a couple of times uh, this speed trap and it wasn't very difficult at all. The Escort's packing about 650 brake horsepower, so it'll definitely get you around there quick enough, and of course it's four wheel drive system uh, will keep some decent amount of traction around here, especially in the snow. Now anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it definitely helped you out wherever possible. Uh, if it did, and you're new to the channel, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe uh, and drop a like as well. Apart from that guys, I wish you all the best, make sure you stay safe and take care.